setting the bench up, you want enough to put your eyes underneath the bench. All right, so make sure your bench is centered. So we're gonna scoot this back just a little bit here. I need to do that. There we go. So, our goal is gonna, one, be create tension throughout the entire shoulder blade, okay? So we don't wanna just lay down here and just start here, all right? When we lay down on this bench, we wanna to try to bring our shoulder blades back and down and to create as much tension. So there's two ways you can do that. You can either just use your hands and make as big a chest as possible, or what you'll see some people do is they'll literally push in and they'll use the rack to push their shoulder blades into this super compressed position, right? So we're bringing them back and down as much as possible. Once we get here, right, notice then what we can do with our feet, right? Our feet are gonna stay flat on the floor. And it sounds like we're, we talk about that neutral spine and bringing the hips in. So you're literally gonna try to bring your hips to the ceiling and then put them on the bench, okay? So you get in this position, whether you go kind of that weird swimmer and shoulders back, or if you wanna push on the rack, either one, then you're gonna to try to bring your hips towards the ceiling and push into the floor, okay? So in this position, now all of a sudden we've got tension in our quads, tension in our hips, tension in the shoulder blades, and it's almost like we're gonna try to make an arch with our upper back. The same thing, you wanna find a grip that's gonna be even on both sides. If you've got long arms, the wider it's gonna go. Obviously, you don't wanna be edge here because then when you put the bar back, you're gonna run into the pins, all right? But we wanna create as big a chest as possible, shoulder blades back, and when we pick the bar up, we want to try to create as much tension on it, right? So I'm going to try to break this bar as if I'm going to take the center and snap it towards the ceiling, okay? So we create tension in the shoulder blades, bring the chest to the ceiling, and then we try to create tension on the bar and break it apart. So then when you lower, when we talked about the dumbbell, right, where we're trying to stack our form. Right? We're trying to put that forearm right underneath the dumbbell. All right? Especially for you baseball players, right? Because this is one of the big things that baseball gets a hard time with. They'll come here and they'll do this, and then they can't throw as hard. All right? Like I bet you if Josh were here, if you were to like sit there and watch him bench, he'd do this. Okay? Same thing, softball players, right? Being able to throw, we wear out that inside of that shoulder, you're gonna have shoulder pain. So if we can bring this back, we're gonna try to stack our elbows right underneath, that way when we come down, we get the shoulder blade back and down and we're able to put that elbow right underneath the bar because that way when we put force through our arm, we're not pushing out, we're pushing up, all right? Now, the one thing before we even lower the bar is one, to actually check your grip. So notice when we put the bar in our hands, we're not doing this. Have you ever seen people bench press like this? No? Well, it's good that you've never seen it. He's, he's seen it, right? We call this a suicide grip. Don't suicide grip a bar. Because if you grip here and you create tension and you start to come down and that bar slips out of your hands, all right? 45 pounds, most people can survive that. All right, you watch it happen with 315 to 400 pounds, and I've seen people break ribs. So, or it happens when it's getting put on the rack and it's over your face. I've seen somebody drop 600 pounds in their face. Okay, so we grip the bar with that thumb wrapped around because it's going to anchor it in. We create tension on the bar. All you're doing is lowering under control. So we get those shoulder blades back, feet in the ground. Engage your hips, right? So you squeeze the butt. Now, when you've actually got the bar here, you can actually use your feet to push your back into the bench. So shoulder blades stay back and down, and you're just gonna lower that bar right to what we call your xiphoid process. So basically, if you trace your sternum all the way to where it ends, right here. So you get your rib cage, it comes up. Right where it meets, we're lowering the bar there. A lot of people want to lower the bar up here, close to their throat. 
And then you're gonna you remember doing those JM presses when we did the, the arms and the shoulder, right? Where we press out with our tricep. We're basically gonna turn a bench press into that if you go up too high. So lower it, shoulders stay back and down, and we're lowering right to the bottom of that rib cage. As you as you push up, you breathe out. And breathe. Okay? So Shoulder blades back and down. Hip squeeze, so we're trying to make as big a chest as possible. Lower control to the chest. Touch the chest. Push up. Forearm center. There's a lot of working parts there when you actually start. Because you can see most people will just get in and they'll do this and they'll pick up the bar and they'll do this motion. You know, most people will, they'll, they'll get fairly strong that way. But if you actually want to make everything strong, we can. Push those shoulder blades back, feet in the floor, keep the hips engaged, create tension in the bar, lower down, pushing back up. That's our baseline, right? There's a reason why we separated the dumbbell bench because we can't create tension on dumbbells. Now with that bar, you learn how to create tension, right? Like I said, you might feel your back cramp up from trying to bring your chest up as much as possible. You're trying to extend that spine a little bit to be able to then create a nice space for your shoulder to move. So, we've got four benches. Same thing, if you've got shoulder issues, work on coaching somebody up on this, all right? Help people figure this out. Because that way you, you learn something, all right? And then you're helping your classmates learn because it's gonna be hard to focus in on all these different points right off the bat. All right, so maybe do a set where you focus on just the shoulder blades back. The second set you do, like I said, we're only working like five reps here. Second set you do, then add the hips in, and then really try to break the bar on that third set, okay? So three to four sets of five reps. For some of you guys, if you need a little weight to feel the tension on the bar, add a little weight, okay? I know.